up it looks like we are live what's popping y'all what you got going on this is your boy Neric chase and in this video we're doing another character ranker episode 18 and this time we're going to be focusing on and i don't know how to say this lady's name so i'm trying not to butcher it yasuko matsuyuki who played the lust in the 2017 live adaptation of full metal alchemist now, for those who don't know who full, what Full Metal Alchemist is, it is about this these two brothers who are on this journey to uh, basically uh, fix their lives, I guess you could say, in an attempt to, uh, in their past when they were younger, in an attempt to bring back their dead mother, they end up basically sacrificing, uh, one of them end up sacrificing a couple of limbs, and the other one end up sacrificing his entire body. So they're trying to return back to normal. Now, during their journey, when they're trying to find what they call a philosopher's stone that they think will be able to let them do this, they end up getting, of course, caught up into an even bigger conflict where, uh, you know, where lives are at stake and they're just did these big conspiracy and it's an interesting really interesting show with an interesting concept of course great characters all around uh but again uh as we all know you know live adaptations of anime and manga traditionally do not work they fucking suck ass um there's a lot i can go down the list talking about you know, but I'm not going to go down that, even though Attack on Titan uh, comes to mind being one of the more recent ones. Uh, but the Bleach one wasn't bad. I actually like the Bleach one. And I actually like this one, too. Thank you. Um, I think this one actually was uh, one of the better ones as well. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, the character of Lust uh, is uh, what it... it in the full Metal Alchemist universe is what they call a homunculus, which is, I guess, a failed attempt at trying to bring uh, bring a human back. And they basically just turn into these p things that look like people, but with powers and they're evil and they're bent on killing folks for some reason. Um, I think so, because I think, I don't know, because the homunculi were a part of father too. But if you're going by that th 2003 adaptation, the old, the little boy, was trying to come, I don't know. I don't know what the homunculi are at this point. I don't know. It's, it's like two different two different ways to make them. The, uh, the bad guy, father makes them. And the, and the other one is if you try to bring somebody back and they get eat enough of those uh, Philosopher's Stone things, then they turn to homunculi. But anyway, she's a part of this group called the homunculi who are trying to uh, enact this huge conspiracy that's going to kill thousands, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. And she is the base, and in the film, she's basically the leader of the bad guys. Uh, she has really cool ability of, I guess, immortality, as long as she's eating, uh, provides herself with enough of the Philosopher's Stones, as well as regeneration. And she has the really cool ability to extend her nails to the incredible lengths, and they can slice through any damn thing. So, and she's pretty bad. In the 2003 version I mean, there's like two versions of it there's the the regular former alchemist and then there's like the 2003 version the 2003 version she wasn't completely evil and then the regular version she was actually pretty evil so how does she rank in this freaking movie uh, i actually think she was freaking awesome she's literally one of the best characters in the film i think that the the actress did a great job of making her dark making her sexy as hell because lust is one of the sexiest anime characters hands down to me and she kind of got that that pale gothic look to her so it makes it look even more hot especially with that black dress on I like leather because i like leather so she looks freaking sexy as hell as well uh are there really any differences between her and the source material i really don't think so i think the character itself definitely captures that very dark and seductive look to the character the menacing look to the character and i like the fact that she's one of those characters that could be very menacing without being like bolsterous about it she could just just say just sit there and just say i'm going to kill you and you could see it in her eyes as she do it. and i think the character in the movie did a great job of capturing that as far as like how she actually acts, like the character actions and stuff. I think they fall suit, uh, fall well with the source material. Um, is she a good character? I think she's actually a pretty good character. Again, one of the more memorable anime anime live adaptations. I think she 
nailed it on the head as far as the character is concerned. This is one of those characters that doesn't necessarily need depth, but she's pretty bad at and you know how I usually rank my villains. If they're not, they don't have personality, they at least got to be badass. No, she doesn't have the depth, any depth, because the character in the show really didn't have depth like that either. But she was actually freaking badass in the show, and she was pretty badass in this movie as well. So as far as the character, the character was actually awesome. The, this version, again, is the, the normal Full Metal Alchemist and not the 2003 version. And I think that they did a great job of portraying that character. Um, and I, uh, overall writing, mm, I'm, like I said, I'm not saying the character needed depth or anything, but she was absolutely badass. Now, as far as, um, this one, I'm trying not to butcher this woman's damn name. Um, as far as Yusiko Matsuyuki's, uh, performance as the character, fantastic. Fantastic. She did a fantastic job of not only capturing just the beauty and seductiveness of the character, but also the very serious nature of the character. Doing sequences where she was being, you know, she's being seductive. She definitely totally nails it. During the sequences where she's very menacing, where she's ready to kill someone, where she's just, just showing that she's just a ruthless killer and doesn't give a shit about you know, life at all, with well, human life like that, she definitely nailed, uh, nailed on the head. Now, this is one of those actresses that I think, like, they, like, you went for a woman that actually is, uh, beautiful, because I'm one of those people, like, you don't necessarily need to have someone look exactly like the role, uh, but you need somebody that can actually carry the role. And I think they did a fantastic job of not only casting an actress that actually looks like the role, but also managed to, Take on them care. Take on that character. Fantastic job. Really enjoyed her. Um, now there are a plethora of women that could possibly have played this role, and um, one of my favorites, hands down, is Kelly Hugh. I think she could have done it. She played a freaking awesome uh, uh, Lady Deathstrike in X Men Two. I really enjoyed her. Like if they could have picked somebody else, I would have definitely went with her. Uh, Zhang Ziyi, of course, I like her because she's uh, great with the action. She's done some very serious stuff as well. Maggie Q, I can honestly see uh, playing the character as well. Of course, you know she's known for kicking ass and 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 playing characters that be flying across the room and killing people and stuff like that. Now, I have a uh, Lee Bing Bing. I think could potentially play the character. I've not liked a lot of the stuff that she's been in. Some stuff I've, I've uh, definitely liked. I think she would have played a better Lust than a damn uh, Ada Wong. I can tell you that uh, hands down. What was the one woman that played in... Uh, uh, what was that freaking woman that played in... Terminator Genesis, not Terminator Genesis, uh, uh, the the Predator. Uh, I cannot remember this lady's name. Uh, shoot. Ah, damn. I done lost it. I don't forgot the lady's name. She played in Terminator Genesis. Uh, not, not Terminator Genesis, The Predator. Why do I keep messing that up? The Predator. That's who I'm thinking of. Um, now I'm not going to feel right until I get it. Let me look it up right quick. Sorry, guys. Oh, uh, man. The Predator cast. I'm not going to feel right until I get this damn lady's name. I'm not. I hate it when that happens. Olivia Munn. <sighs> I feel better now. I think Olivia Munn could have uh, played this role as well. The reason why I would say that, because she did play a pretty cool... Um, What's her name? I forgot, I forgot the damn chick name that she played in uh, X-Men Apocalypse. Now, I'm not even going to go down that list. Anymore. But anyways, look, those are just some of the few of the actresses I think that could have played a good lust. But I th think that um, Matt Yuki did a fantastic job with what she was given. And she definitely just brings that character to life. Um, I don't know none of the other stuff this woman's played in. I have not heard of any of this stuff, so... This is definitely what they uh, uh, 
introduced me to and I really enjoyed her performance. And as far as design, of course, she looks just like the character. Looks just like the character, not only in terms of just the actual physicalness of herself, but of course, you know, the actual outfit, which I thought was actually done really well as well. I like how it was kind of, it, it does emphasize the sexuality of the character without being too stupid about it. I mean, she looks, look at that picture. She looks, the, the breasts and everything. She, she looks badass. She looks sexy as hell. And I like, and this is, and I, this is one reason I like the character designs because it isn't over the top. Like, any of the other characters like she actually looks like that's what somebody like that's what a fine woman would wear like now so I, I I'm not I love the way she looked in the film uh, she was actually sexy as hell and I loved how they did the claws the, with the extended claws and stuff thought that was done really well I thought that was done pretty cool too I don't think there was ever a moment where I was like oh man those claws are kind of like rubbery or anything yeah I remember in Resident Evil uh, Extinction where Alice ends up having to fight the tyrant at the end of the film the, Isis, the Dr. Isaac's tyrant and there's this moment where he's doing like this with his hand and then it looks like it's rubber well you don't get that in this movie it actually looks uh, real and it's done really well see it looks pretty cool yes you can tell they like extensions but it isn't bad so I, I really thought that she looked really good in terms of the actual design of the character overall and like I said the woman is sexy as hell so how important is this character and why should I give a damn? She was actually pretty menacing. She was actually a good antagonist. And she actually did a great job of just giving herself presence in this freaking movie. Did not give a damn about the other ones. Gluttony was all right. Uh, Envy sucked ass to me. But of all of them, she was pretty much the best one. Is there any development art for the character? Hell no, nah, she was purely evil. She was just killing the shit out of people. So... <laughs> Uh, but with this type of character, you don't need that development art because she is a very memorable villain in the film. Um, and outside of her menacing, her menacing personality, outside of her nice tits, outside of her really cool na uh, nail thing that she be doing, killing the crap out of people, I think that character was, like I said, was really cool. Uh, and in relation to the other characters, she was menacing to the bad guys. She was a boss to the bad. Uh, she was. Uh, I mean, I said that back. But she's a boss to the bad guys, and she's menacing to the good guys. So that's what they went for, and that's what they got. Thumbs up for them for lust and doing a fantastic job with the character. I think of all the characters they could have got right in this movie, she's definitely hands down had to be one of them. Now I like uh, the old dude that was doing the fire. He was badass too, and I'm definitely gonna bring. Uh, um, character ranking for that character as well but anyways guys in the comment section below let me know what are your thoughts about um let me butcher this woman's name again i'm sorry yasuko matsuyuki as lust in the 2017 full metal alchemist do you think she did a fantastic job did you think she sucked what are some things she could have done better also who else and no, I'm not. Uh, towards uh, her, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say this. What other performances in other movies or television shows that she's done that you personally would recommend me go check out? As well as, guys, go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe, and that notification button to get the best of what's going on on this channel. Remember, we upload videos damn near every day. It's a different channel, so there's a lot of stuff that you can get into and enjoy every day. So without further ado, we'll catch you guys later. Y'all have y'all a good until next video.